Cancer, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. We appreciate you being here. I hope that you're all doing very well. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've got two decks here. I've got one for your energy and one for your person of interest. Whoever is, whoever it is that you're thinking about. It can be a love interest. It can be a crush. It can be a former partner, uh, whatever the case may be, okay? The first card that popped out, like in pre-shuffle, was the Hierophant right out the gate. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or marriage or something to do with tradition values, okay? But let's keep going. So I do want to say the energies can intermix or go vice versa. You know, that's how it goes. So you're all going to be different. Remember, it's a general read, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your moon, rising, Venus signs. If you don't know what those are, you can check charts online to see, calculate your, your birthday, okay? Time of birth and date of birth, and you can figure that out. If you'd like a personal reading, you can hit me up at shacy.com. All that information is in the description box. For those of you that are brand new, I always do the Healing Stone gift away bracelets it's absolutely free it's my way mine and my girls way of saying thank you so much for being here and for supporting our channel it allows us to keep you know bringing these videos to you and these readings complimentary so thank you so much all you got to do is hit the subscribe which is free like this video hit the notification bell like our Facebook page or leave a recommendation or on Instagram whichever you prefer but I am mostly on Facebook and that qualifies you to enter for the free giveaway I'll give you a little sneak peek here this is the I am enough bracelet can you see that charm okay so you get to select your size your charm and I handpicked each one of these stones that was to our highest benefit for healing okay so the list of the stones are also down below they're all authentic let's get started I've already been meditating on your energy I've already been shuffling so let's get started for cancer please Sun Moon rising and Venus this can play out from you the cross watchers perspective as well welcome cross watchers we definitely need you here too so let's see what's going on if you're dealing with a cancerian and cancerians welcome as always to your reading okay so this can be anybody around you it can be a mother brother father sister child significant other crush anybody can come up in your reading that's affecting your energy divine timing remember that I've had people come back to me six months later three months later and tell me you know at the time it didn't resonate but three six months later it has so keep that in mind okay I get comments below sometimes that say, this isn't my story. Well, then it's not your story now, but maybe in a few months it will be, or maybe it won't. It is a general read. Okay, why is the Hierophant here for Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why did why did the Hierophant come out and pre-shuffle here, please, for Cancer? Why is it here? What does Cancer need to know about the Hierophant? Wow, thank you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> cancer, apparently. I don't normally take these, but the way that they wanted to come out, I feel the need to, okay? And if I feel the need to, I will. For those of you that are brand new, I always continue your reading over on Vimeo. It's another plus or minus 15 minutes, and I dig a lot deeper into your reading. I will pull a lot more clarification cards and ask more questions, and I will be focusing and doing a sneak peek into June, okay? Wow. Ace of Cups. Look at that beautiful Ace of Cups. Wow, you may have like a commitment coming or a Taurus wants to offer you their love. That is beautiful. Look at that. That just hobbled out. Wow, it may be hidden. Their love may be hidden. Okay, you may receive an offer, brand new offer of love here from a uh, hmm, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I said Cancer and you might be meeting one of your own. <laughs> you could be, but it could also be a Pisces. There is lots of water energy here or it could be a Taurus interesting okay you've got the seven of swords so you know this may be a hidden love that might be tiptoeing in towards you and you may not even know it let's keep going wow there you go it definitely could be a taurus earth water air possibly you have an offer coming in it's very very slow it's like somebody is just trying to sneak in that's what i'm feeling these hidden they have hidden feelings for you there could be somebody around you have no idea and they have these hidden feelings for you. It may lead to a long-term commitment with the hero font right out the gate. Doesn't have to be, okay? But they're moving very slowly towards you. I feel they're tiptoeing. Like this could be a completely secret, secret, of, secret admirer here. It absolutely could be. Let's keep going. Let's get your person of interest here. <laughs> I think this is them. I don't feel this is your energy for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow, they're jumping out, Cancer. What's going on with you? I just saw another. Okay, 
Hmm, hopefully somebody's not already in a commitment. I don't think so, though. We have the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody who's passionate, driven. But this can also be somebody that's been in and out of your life. Maybe they were either in a commitment already or they. I feel they, somebody wants a commitment with you. They're very passionate about you. They're very driven. Or you have more than one offer. You can, could have a fire sign and an earth sign. That could be. And the fire sign here has maybe kind of been in and out of your life quite possibly. Or it's the same person, like I said. To somebody who wants something grounded, stable, long-term committed here. And they're keeping their passion, their love for you a secret. That's kind of how I'm feeling. They might just tiptoe in towards you and sneak in and and offer you this this you know it's slow and passionate i feel like this is the same person but let's keep going here why is the knight of wands here wow okay seriously cancer they are jumping out could be someone from your past or somebody who thinks of you as their soulmate here somebody is really i feel has a lot of love here for you passion wants commitment this is awesome, but for some reason, there's been some heartbreak here as well, okay? So there could possibly have been, they could have been in a marriage. This may have been a secret relationship quite possibly here with the Seven of Swords, the Moon, the Hierophant, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Emperor Aries or a Taurus, so strong Taurus, strong Aries here, and water. So they might have, <laughs> again... Wow, Cancer, how does this keep happening? Definitely, this is this is unbelievable. So I feel like this may have possibly have been a secret relationship and somebody is tiptoeing towards you and they're thinking about you and they, you know, they're planning. They're planning to come towards you very slowly. I feel they've been in and out of your life here. They feel that you are their soulmate. It could be somebody from their past or just somebody that they feel that you you are their other half okay and they may have been in and out of your life because this may have been a secret relationship of some sort or a secret crush they've been planning as the emperor this is somebody who plans they cross their teeth they dot their eyes they get their ducks in a row and here they are as a knight of pentacles going very slowly here okay there may have been heartbreak in in a commitment here okay if this is you um, you may be ending things with the Taurus. This, you know, this definitely could be you as well, but I'm not feeling that way. I'm feeling like this is somebody coming towards you because there's two knights here with an offer. Passion, driven, stable, but yet they've been in and out of your life and I feel like it's because they were already in a commitment and this caused some heartbreak. So they may have stepped away from you for a while. I don't know how long you're each going to be different. I feel like they might be trying to tiptoe back in here. Who is the Emperor? Clarify the Emperor, please, here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leave me comments. I want to hear from you. Even if you come back here a couple months later and you tell me, you know, yes, this happened or whatever, I want to hear from you. Why is the Emperor here for Cancer? Did you see that fly out? There you go. They're here because they want to give you an equal give and take. They were giving you crumbs before. They want balance between the two of you. They know it caused some heartbreak overall. That may be why they've been in and out of your life here. They're trying to regain their balance here. That's how I'm feeling. This can also signify that they were giving to everyone else, meaning family, friends, could be children, a marriage, a committed partner. Whatever the case may be, they weren't able to give to you before. There was no balance between the two of you. There was nothing but heartbreak. So that may be why they've been in and out. And I feel like they have a lot of love for you here. And they may be tiptoeing towards you. And you may not even know it. But let's keep going here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here, please? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know for their highest good? Whoa, did you see how these are flipping out? Waiting. Somebody's been waiting for growth here. Somebody's been putting in all this effort, okay? And I feel they've been waiting to come towards you very slowly with this offer. Now, it could be that you didn't even know, maybe that's what was hidden, was these feelings that they have for you were so strong, but they were needing to save their money. They didn't have enough resources, they felt. So they've been waiting to come towards you with this offer, and that's why it's so slow in coming. That's what I'm seeing here. 
All right, let's find out the Six of Pentacles, please, here for Cancer's person of interest. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Clarify. Wow. Cancer, I'm just, I'm amazed at these cards the way they're flipping out. OMG, are you kidding me right now? Look at this. Look at that. Double clarification. Okay, so I definitely feel like somebody has been kind of tiptoeing between you and a marriage or other partner here. That's not going to be for all of you. But that's kind of what I'm seeing. Either that or this is you with your partner and you are leaving a marriage yourself or they are from you, okay? Either way, just be careful because there's some kind of, um, you know, this can be emotional theft as well. It could be that somebody was taking from you emotionally, you know, like taking advantage of you, but it's not really that they wanted to, it's that they were in a commitment already. This is a strong, it's a strong indication of what I'm getting. And I feel they've, they're very passionate about you. They have a lot of love for you, but they've been in and out of your life because of that. They are, they think of you as their soulmate, but they haven't been sharing that. They haven't. They have a lot of love for you. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, and they've been thinking about you. You've never been off of their mind is what I'm seeing. They've been waiting. They've been waiting for something to grow. They could be waiting for finances to come through. And maybe they didn't share that with you with the moon card. The seven of swords. Maybe they were waiting to leave, um, you know, a relationship that they were in. And hold. they were holding on to the resources or waiting again. It could be for anything. It could be if, if they were leaving a marriage or commitment because we have the Ten of Pentacles here, we have the Hierophant, that could be that they were waiting for that to settle out before coming towards you, and now they're kind of tiptoeing, okay? Yeah, see? Crossroads here. They were at a crossroads, okay? They were trying to make a decision or a choice, or this is you being in the dark and not having a clue of what's been going on, and meanwhile, they've you know, slowly been tiptoeing towards you and planning here. I feel like they're planning to give you an equal give and take, and they're you know, they're going to kind of um, sneak back towards you here. That's how I'm feeling. You know, they've never lost this passion or this love for you. Okay. But you, you may have felt and you know, and there wasn't, you were right. There wasn't an equal give and take here in this relationship and they know it. Clarify the seven of pentacles here, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, see, what was I saying about making plans? Somebody's looking towards their future and they're trying to figure it out. We've got the two of swords here and the two of wands here. It's like, okay, I've I've got the world in my hands. I'm trying to make a choice. They could be at a distance from you. And they're just looking at all the effort they've put into either business or work or their career or whatever. They're, they're money focused. They're money focused. And they want to come towards you. So they're moving slowly here because they're trying to make plans as the emperor, I feel, on which direction to go and how to plan this, how to plan to get towards you here. Okay, so this is somebody that is a take charge kind of person. We've got the Herald font. We've got the Emperor, Aries, Taurus. I've got Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Everybody's here. This is about somebody making plans for the future and not discussing it with anybody, okay? They've been planning their getaway here. They've been planning to get away, I feel, from a commitment here and uh, come very slowly towards you. So if they've been in and out of your life, that is why. They want an equal give and take with you. They know there hasn't been one. I feel that they know that you're in the dark here. Here's the moon again. We've got the moon here. I feel like they they know that they've left you without a clue as to what's going on. And I feel like this is somebody who's been planning. This is somebody that likes to control the situation and plan for the future here. This is somebody who is planning, crossing their T's and dotting their I's for that future. And so don't be surprised if somebody is tiptoeing towards you and you're not expecting it. That's what I'm kind of seeing. What are their plans, please, spirits, with this two of wands for cancer? What's going on for their future for cancer? Wow. See that? They're planning to come towards you with some kind of news. Good news. You know, um, you may feel like you just don't trust this person with that seven of swords here, but this is good news. They've, they've never lost their love or their passion for you. And I feel they want to tiptoe in towards you and express how they feel. They're, they're passionate about you. They have love for you and they want to give you this good news that they have managed to 
sneak away, I feel, from a marriage or commitment, just be careful that they are coming with good intentions here. They're planning to give you this good news, either, you know, traveling towards you or going to communicate with you somehow. Some kind of news is coming in here. We're going to find out in the extended what that news is. We're going to do some clarification. I'm going to clear clarify some more with the same traditional tarot. I'm going to get a couple of the mutual energies now. We are going to dig a lot deeper. I'm going to use the Romance Angels to do the pick a card. We're going to use the 1960s and 70s vintage cards here to get double or triple clarifications. In my last reading for Scorpio, I had four, four different decks and four quadruple confirmations. It just blew my mind. We're going to get some messages from the universe, some guidance messages. These are fantastic. We'll see what else we can dig our heels into. We're going to find out how they feel about you. And we're going to focus on June. But let's right now, let's get some mutual energies for Cancer and their person of interest. What are the mutual energies that Cancer needs to hear? Wow, what was I saying? Yeah, justice, balance, legal. So there could have been something legally going on perhaps in a marriage or commitment that somebody was trying to get away with, get away from, or they were trying to rebalance themselves after they went through a justice or legal system here. This is all about balance. We've got a card of balance here, the Six of Pentacles. You know, we've got the justice card here. But either way, this means that justice is going to go in your favor or their favor in order to balance the situation between the two of you. And I feel like that's why some news is coming for you that you're not... Look at what's on the bottom. News arriving. News arriving right there. I say that somebody's tiptoeing towards you to give this news and you're not expecting it. I feel that's why they're tiptoeing very slowly because they've been careful, you know, and you may not like it, but this is what I'm seeing. I feel like you've been left in the dark here. It's kind of like, I don't know which direction to go. You're kind of wondering which direction to go. What should I do? Okay. How should I do it? This could be them as well. It could be both of you. You know, I feel that they realize that they've left you in the dark or again, vice versa. Let's check in the extended. I'm going to dig deeper. Like I said, we'll do the Romance Angel. Pick a card. I'm going to get time, I hope, for the um, Love Oracle as well. And we are definitely going to dig de deeper with the, the Vintage deck as well. So if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. I hope that you keep well, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Don't forget about the bracelet giveaway. Subscribe. It's free. Like this video. That is free as well as hitting the notification bell so that we can notify you if you're one of the lucky winners if you choose to enter. Thank you, Cancer. For those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you seeing me for the continuation of your reading on Vimeo, I will be right there. You can click on that link down below in the description box or in the comment section below. Stay well. Namaste.